Gemini is here. This is Google's AI-powered assistant that can now be accessed directly inside your favorite Google apps. Gemini will change the way that you do business, and today I'm going to share how you can use Gemini inside your Google Workspace apps. This will increase productivity, improve meetings, allow you to create unique AI images, improve your emails, planning, research, and a whole bunch more with AI built into Google Workspace. Okay, so just quickly before we go ahead and launch into Gemini, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into Google's AI-powered assistant for Google Workspace. Okay, so to integrate and access Gemini inside your Google Workspace account, you first need to sign into your admin account and then add it as a service. To do that, once you've signed in to your admin account, simply navigate up to Billing, then come down to Get More Services. Here you just need to locate Gemini for Google Workspace. And as you can see, I've already added Gemini Business as an add-on. Now you can choose to set up Gemini for everyone in your organization or selected people or just yourself. And your monthly account price will increase depending on how many users inside your organization have access to Gemini. Also, you have access to a 14-day free trial, meaning you can test out Gemini and see if it works for you and your organization. Okay, so now that you've added Gemini, let's dive in and see how you can leverage Gemini across your different Google apps. Let's first jump over to our Gmail inbox. And let's use Gemini to help us compose a new email. Simply navigate to the body of your email, then locate Gemini down below. You'll see this little icon, Help Me Write. Let's click on Help Me Write. And here you want to add a prompt. Think about the type of email that you want to compose. I want to create a sales email. And as you can see, the prompt I added is a sales email that highlights the benefits of using our Sheetify CRM product for managing all business activities in one place. Let's go ahead and click on create. Give Gemini a moment to generate a response. And as you can see, this is the sales email that has been generated. And all I would do is make my micro edits by adding my own unique content to this email template so that it has the correct information and reads well. Down here, I want to replace the placeholder text with the website address as well as phone number and then my name down here as well as add the client or potential client's name over here. So as you can see, rather than integrating ChatGPT, you can simply leverage Gemini AI, which is built into your Google Workspace apps and help you streamline your different business activities. And then simply click on back. Then what I can do is come down and insert this into my email. I can also recreate or I can refine. Let's go ahead and click on refine. I can formalize, elaborate and shorten. Let's go ahead and recreate. And as you can see, that AI generated response has been recreated. I'm happy with this, so I'm gonna come down and click on insert, and that's gonna insert this content. And again, what we would do is make some changes before sending this email. Now let's move on to a Google document and see how you can leverage Gemini AI when creating documents. And again, leveraging Gemini, you'll see this option up here. What we can do is click on help me write. And this time what I wanna do is create an invoice template. Create an attractive invoice template that includes GST as a tax. I'm gonna come down and click on create. Again, give Gemini AI a moment to generate its response. And just like that, we now have an invoice template. All I need to do is change the placeholder text for invoice number, date, due date, as well as company information, customer information, the products or services. And then we have the subtitle down here, as well as GST, which I asked Gemini to include in this invoice. And then we have other details down here. We can also navigate down to refine and I can change the tone of the AI generated content. I can also summarize, bulletize, elaborate, shorten, and retry. I can also add a custom prompt on top of this response. Okay, so I'm happy with this for now. I'm gonna go ahead and click on insert. And as you can see, this is the template. Now, if we navigate over here, again, depending where your cursor is, you'll see the option to use Gemini AI. For example, I can highlight this and then click here. And then I have these different options, again, to leverage AI to help me optimize my content. Next, what we wanna do is leverage Gemini inside spreadsheets. Okay, so here we are inside a Google Sheets template. Now, what I'm going to do is navigate down and create a new sheet and then navigate up to insert and then come down to help me organize. And we can leverage Gemini AI to help us generate a custom template inside our spreadsheet. Now soon, Gemini will help you organize and be able to 
accurately edit and analyze content in your spreadsheet. However, at the moment, we just want to create a template. So for me, I'm going to add, create a task list of jobs that we need to complete for our clients, include service, date, time, and a checkbox. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what Gemini will create. And as you can see, Gemini has created this table. I'm really impressed with the outcome. So here we have the service down here, the contact name, the contact information, the status, date, time, notes about that service, and then completed over here. Okay, so I'm actually happy with that. So I'm going to come down and click on insert table. And as you can see, we now have this client task list. We can change the status. Let's go ahead and click on to do. And then if we navigate over to completed, we have this little check box. And this is everything and more that we asked Gemini to create for us. So as you can see in just a few clicks and by adding a prompt, you can create a template table using Gemini AI inside spreadsheets. Hey guys, just quickly before we get back to this video, I just want to mention my Sheetify CRM, an all-in-one business toolkit and CRM built with Google Sheets and designed for Google users. You can simply manage leads, customers, tasks, engage in email marketing, manage your inventory, tickets, and more. The great part is I've made this Sheetify CRM a one-time payment, no subscriptions, unlimited access, and future updates. If you're interested in learning more, you can find the link to my Sheetify CRM down below in the description. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and get back to this video. Now what we're going to do is head over to Google Slides and show you how to generate images using Gemini. Okay, so as you can see, I'm currently inside Google Slides. Now what we can do inside of Google Slides is leverage Gemini to generate images for our slideshow. Let's first close this. And to open up this Gemini sidebar, simply click here and then add a prompt based on the image that you want to generate. As you can see, I've quickly added this prompt, a mountain with an office perched at the very peak, looking over snowy mountains. Then what we can do is choose the style of the image that we want to generate. For us, we want to create a photographic, a realistic image. Then come down and click on create. Again, give Gemini a moment to load. And here we have four options. We can also navigate up to view more if we like, but I'm happy with this image over here. Here are some more that I've quickly gone ahead and generated. Here's another cool one. And I can simply use these images inside my spreadsheet. Now, one of the issues that I've noticed with this image generation feature with the Gemini is prompts that you add that include people do not typically generate. You may get a little notification saying that your image cannot be generated if you add people inside your prompt. Now, another app that you can leverage that uses Gemini AI is Google Meet. Once you open up a new meeting, what you can do is simply click apply visual effects. And then we can navigate over to generate a background. So let's go ahead and change my background by navigating up here and adding a professional office with windows looking out over a park. We can come down to no style and we can add a style if we like. I'm going to add photography and then click on create samples. And let's go ahead and try some of these images. We have this image here and as you can see the background has been replaced with this image. I'm going to go ahead and try this image here. This looks quite good too. And let's try this one down here and then this one over here. So I like the look of this. Then all I need to do is simply close this option. And as you can see, just like that, I've generated a background image for my video inside of Google Meet. You can see it's clean if I move around. It actually looks like I'm in this location. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this Gemini tutorial for Google Workspace users, helping you get started with Gemini across your different Google apps. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Gemini tutorial for Google Workspace. Now, if you have any questions about Gemini, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.